Here we are back with Stuntman. This is the final film. I think of the word. Final film. So we're going to do this all in one shot. There's three different... It's a James Bond film. There's three different stunts to do. If anything is like an indicator, it's going to be like an hour long. They have all took me ages before. shouldn't do any stunt you're not prepared to do two or three times. If the safety threshold isn't high enough for two attempts, it's not high enough for one. That's the difference between a stuntman and a daredevil. Daredevils don't know if they're going to make it. This is the new Simon Crown movie. Doubling for Crown like I'm doing now is a lifetime ambition for most stunt people. Budgets and pressure don't get much bigger. This part of the story is set in the mountains over Monaco, Crown giving chase. In the last part of the scene, the car in front explodes, and I need to swerve and jump the gorge. Right, so... Chase the sports car. I'm hoping that this one isn't going to be too bad. I've given it a good few attempts, and uh, I've not done very well in them. So hopefully we just get one of them fluky runs where we just manage to finish it. So... I was thinking there was only three missions on this one, but there isn't. I think there's four. I uh, totally forgot about this one. I think this is quite similar to another mission that comes on later. But either way, we'll see how we can do on this film. Hopefully quite well. I mean, there's no chance of 100% in everything. I'm not sure if with this being the last film... They're going to want me to 100% everything. Go between the trucks. Beautiful stuff. I found that a real problem. Let's go on the inside there. Why not, eh? Then it takes me inside uh, where I've got to do some overtaking. Yeah, okay. Right, not too bad, not too bad. It seems like if we go over to the far sides, then we can do all right. At the minute, that's all right. It's making sure you don't hit the lead vehicle. Right, no stunts on this corner, is there? No, okay, this is the furthest I've ever got. There's always another car in the other lane as well. That's the only annoying thing. Oh, wow, there we go, 100%. Love that. That was um, not actually as hard as what I was making out it was. Like, that was pretty good, so on to the next one. Right, okay then, so you can see how I got this one and the last one, like, mixed up with each other. I just thought they were the same thing. Right, I really need to pull my finger out, because I want to be doing this whole episode with every mission from this movie. And uh, two. Classic timing. Come on, let's go. No mucking about, please. See, it's the first half of this stunt that is really awful. Like, timing wise, I think I've made up for a little bit, but I can't be mucking about. Not it. Right, okay. There we go. Three seconds to spare on that bit, I don't think is too bad. Right, let's go. And do you know what? I've never took that inside lane. Whoa. Okay, I failed that. Damn, I've never failed that before. I'm hoping that's not a sign of things to come. Thank you for hitting that. Do you know what I mean? What an awesome, like, assist. You actually helped me there. Right, there's some fallen trees and stuff here. Avoid the falling rocks. Swerve through the rocks. It says swerve through the rocks, but, like, that's the best I'm going to give you. Just me slowly navigating through the rocks. Right, so there's a bit up here where you need to go in between two lorries. If I stay centre aligned, is that going to... No. Okay, cool. 
This might be a 90% fail. Is that enough? Is that enough? Let's go. Oh, my days. I'm so happy that a 90% will get me through that. Not too bad. All right, what are we going to be doing in this one, then? Want knee pads that stretch down from your knees to your ankles. Right. They're not okay. restricting your movement too much because shins are a real problem. They start flying up at 60 to zero in less than a second, start snapping all over the place. Most of the stunt people I know have snagged a shin or ankle sometime. I've done the same one twice. Okay, he's done the same one twice. All right, so I've given this one a real good number of attempts. And uh, this one's probably the one that I'm enjoying trying again the most. This vehicle is quite funny, to be honest. And just the silly things that keep happening. There's a car that comes out there normally. And that sent me flying like 60 times. This police car just comes up with no regard to what's going on whatsoever. To be fair, though, Overtake on the left. this driving is pretty good. Need to make sure we don't hit that lamppost because that's a nightmare. Right. On the left. Yeah, that one's a fail. Oh, well, right. Hopefully, it will let me have that one fail. There's the fountain jump. That's the handbrake turn. Right, let's go. God knows if I have to do this. Because I just end off going up this way. Must have to, must not. There must be checkpoints, like mini ones that... And again. And again. Left down the steps. Left down the steps. That was sweet. First time I did that, I just went straight forward and ended up just like hitting the fence at the end. Yeah, really tight corner. Jeez Louise. That police car can't make it around there, surely. Please sort yourself out. Does that actually count? And cut. Oh my days, that actually counted. Let's go. The ending set was so shaky. Oh, I'm gassed. Right, on to the next one. This time, Crown's chasing a van with the Omega circuit. This sequence is about chasing the van and trying to destroy it. It's okay. only later Crown learns it was a dummy circuit and the real one got away. Wow. This stunt's quite unusual in that near the end, I actually get out of the car and drive it by radio control. Oh, that sounds interesting. No, I don't remember that. So I'm like trying to tell a story like as well as trying to complete this mission and i don't know if that's what's maybe mucking me up because i'm like losing concentration on certain bits where i shouldn't be I'm just forgetting things for some reason them boxes have sent me flying a few times right there we go i'm not missing them dodge the car through the gap let's go so right what i was saying earlier was like this mission you need to get it completely impeccable which was a nice lead off into why impeccable is a new word to the vocabulary so because the amount of times i've told the story and like failed the missions it's ridiculous so anyways we're looking for some nice like pub grub the other night just somewhere to eat some food and uh, i looked online and it said that this place was we were a fair bit away from home and it said that this gaff um was open serving food and um, so I went in there the and asked the bloke, I said, oh, are you serving food tonight, mate? Oh, no, not tonight, bud. And then he start, He like went on like a five-minute like ex explanation of what they are serving and what they aren't serving and what nights they do and that. Oh, I think I missed that one. That's a big enough chunk that I can't do anymore, isn't it? And, um, yeah, so I said to him, okay, then, mate, if you're not serving food, is there anywhere local that's, like, serving? And he said, oh, yeah, there's this... Oh. There's this gaff down the road, and they have impeccable steaks. So the steaks are impeccable, and the um, apparently the burgers are impeccable. Switch to remote control. I hate this bit. I did this in the last one, and I absolutely hate it. Right, I need to go through the middle here.
I think I'm making better time than before. And uh, yeah, so we went down to the gaff that had the impeccable steaks and the impeccable burgers. Weren't even open, were they? There we go. Fingers crossed that's enough to pass. Let's go. That's enough. And that's the impeccable burger story. Probably told awfully, but I was trying to concentrate. Closest I've come to eating it, probably when I was doing a cannon roll and I hit the ground so hard the roll cage collapsed around me. Ooh. I crushed a few ribs. A couple of fire crews with cutting equipment got me out. And your favorite stunt? Well, that's always the next one you do. Never go into any stunt thinking anything else. This is the final climactic sequence of the entire movie. Crown has one last chance to stop Ursus from escaping with the Omega Circuit in his stealth mm. jet. This is a frantic race against time. I end by crashing into the jet in midair, ejecting out in time on a parachute. Here we are then with the final scene in Live Twice for Tomorrow. Ironic as at the minute we're playing Tomorrow Never Dies, which is a parody of that. This is a parody of that film. If I can get my words out. Weird as well because there is just as many glitches. We've had some funky moments in this game. And then in Tomorrow Never Dies, in that video I uploaded yesterday, wow beans. Right. Can we get enough speed? Nice. Okay, my time in here is pretty good. Right. It's the bit, like, the next jump where I just can't seem to figure out like what is the perfect way of doing it I keep my foot down that seems like the best way of doing it right okay nice that's the best timing I've ever had on that through the narrow gap through the cafe through the cafe get close to the explosion five seconds to go right hopefully I can make this explosion Come on, that's got to be perfect. That is good. 95, let's go. That's that mission done. Now we get to watch the film, I'm pretty sure. My days. Let's have a look. Oh, my days. That's like 40 minutes of doing that over and over again. I think that this next bit's going to be the trailer, and I'm so gassed if it is because I pray it is. I think that's the end of this mission. I swear it's got to be, isn't it? It's, it's got to be. And then I think that's the end of the game. I don't think there's any more. Let's go. It's disappeared off the screen. But you know who they've sent. Special agent? Crown. Mm -hmm. Simon Crown. <laughs> oh. Three satellites are hijacked in orbit. All equipped with Omega circuits. They could send world communications into chaos. Thought to be designed by the Soviets, but never put into operation. Be mm. assured, Omega exists. Do be careful, clown. Naturally. Ho, ho, ho. A little demonstration of what the satellites can do. Well, you think you're getting close? Your winning streak seems to have deserted you, Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown or Crown? Oh, look at that jump. You will pay for what you have done, Mr. Crown. Do you take plastic? Do you take plastic? Live twice for tomorrow. Do you take plastic? There we go then. That's it. Game completed. Let's go. Let's go. What a solid game. I mean, when I'd seen people playing this, people are like, oh, it's the worst game I played on PS2. I used to love this game, but playing it now, I can see, like, the problems with it. It's a, it is a dead good game, and I've had so much fun playing it, but my days, it's hard, it's janky, inconsistent, and just, ugh, I don't know. It's been an absolute mission. Thank you for watching this series, though. And uh, we'll continue with some more as we go. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.